Hello and welcome. I'm Siddharth from the NVIDIA Developer Marketing Team. I'm here with the Gridspace team. I have Anthony and Alex from the team. They have launched a new automated call center agent. Tell us all about it, Anthony. Uh, yeah, so uh, what we showed here at GTC was uh, actually the first kind of public video uh, of a real conversation with our automated call center agent, which we're calling Grace. Uh, was short for grid space, uh, and it, what, what you actually see in the video is a real conversation in a car, uh, a, a real capture of a conversation with an automated call center agent that's able to solve uh, banking tasks in this case. Can you show us a quick demo of how the product really works? Sure. My name is Grace. How can I help you today? Uh, yes, last night I was entertaining some clients, and I think I left my wallet at the restaurant, and to be safe, I want to replace my debit card. I can help you with that. I'll have to authenticate you, okay? Okay. May I ask who I'm talking with first and last name, please? My name is Chris Johnson. Mm-hmm. And what was the name of your first pet? Um, Professor Sparkles. So what you're seeing here is, so he's actually called in, you know, with his cell phone uh -huh. to a phone number that hits our telephony switch. Uh, we write all our own telephony in a way that's optimized for, for doing speech and, and language tasks. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's hitting our switches, and then it, it is being transcribed. Then it's hitting our dialogue system, our emotion models, everything that's needed by the, the dialogue system to select uh, the next speech act. And then, uh, and then it's uh, being synthesized into a, a voice that is a little bit different every time, so that if it, even if it repeats itself, it will always sound different, uh, just like a person sounds different every time they say the same phrase. And, um, and so here you actually see it's operating a website using um, a, a backend that, that actually opens up a browser session uh, as if it were a call center agent, has its own login like a call center agent, and is actually operating the website. It's able to retrieve information. It's able to insert information. Would you like help with something else? Yes. I would like to transfer $1,000 from my savings to my checking account. I'd be happy to make that transfer, Mr. Johnson. Thank you. Just to confirm, you want me to move $1,000 from your savings to your checking? Yes. Right? Yes. What parts of this pipeline what it, were compute intensive, and how did you do that using GPUs? Yeah, so getting that natural a voice was a real challenge to fit inside our very tight latency budget. Uh, so we really had no choice but to go to GPUs for that particular model. Let's check on that card. We've been using TensorFlow for that model, um, and it so happens there's a great integration with TensorRT through TensorFlow. And so we deployed our model through that, and we got some great speed ups, about one and a half times from compiling it to a lower precision to FP16. Um, and yeah, that's even that extra 50% of latency really affects the interaction and how natural it seems, and how big a model we can use too. I see. So, um, how much of your model were you able to move into TensorRT with that, uh, with the integrated TensorFlow TensorRT? So, the entirety of the vocoder is in TensorRT now, which is the most compute intensive part, or at least it was actually. Now, TensorRT has sped it up so much. Um, but yeah, that was that's a big part of the model. That was the most challenging part to get into that real time window. So, Anthony, give me a sense for what does this really mean for the call center market? What does this really bring? Sure. Yeah, I mean, so we've, we've been working with call centers for years now. Uh, we have been analyzing, uh, in the last year, 2,000 years of conversational speech data in the call center. And we've learned from that, from, you know, whether it's speech recognition, emotion recognition, NLP, that we all, we, we all do in-house. Uh, a lot about how call centers operate in a way that you really couldn't do without going to that altitude. Mm -hmm. And what we learned is that there's a large room for automating, especially the more mechanistic tasks that, I mean, there's several million Americans that are working in call centers today, a lot of whom, instead of spending their time solving the kind of hard humanistic tasks that people are calling in about that are reading disclosures, uh, authenticating users, uh, saying, you know, long pre, you know, determined greetings or, or, or sign-offs. And um, from looking at this data, from looking at hundreds of millions of conversations, we've learned that we, you know, by building a dialogue system that's intended to be conversational, that's intended to be able to hand off to an agent with a similar voice, uh, that you could actually begin to automate, you know, th this very large sector of the American economy. And that's, that's what we're really excited about. And we think that we can really improve 
customer service. So uh, you did a really amazing talk at GTC as well on the topic, and both Alex and Anthony, both of you went into a lot of detail about your pipeline right now, the paths that are accelerated, and how you're getting benefit out of them, the specific kinds of models and the challenges that you're having. So I would encourage any of our users who's interested in this workflow and to learn more about the technology behind this to go and check out their GTC video. It's, it's a full one hour talk about that goes into the details of their workflow. Other than that, thank you so much, both of you, for talking to us about uh, grid space and about the technology and how you're using GPUs today to accelerate your applications. Uh, really appreciate that. If you want to learn more, look at the description of the video below.